good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets end of day's trading for Monday's trading session, the 27th of February 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the uh, Google Play and the uh, Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, market direction and uh, summation, let's just bring up the stats first and foremost for European. Uh, uh, trading, you have the FTSE up uh, 9 points, uh, finishing at 7.253. The DAX finishing at 11.822, up 18 points. The CAC more or less flat at 4.845. FTSE MIB certainly finishing up a whopping 1.7%. Very impressive there. And the Euro stock certainly uh, finishing uh, slightly negative, potentially flat. Okay, so in terms of the um, the markets at present, uh, the, the focus certainly still seems to be remaining on uh, Mr. Trump's potential so-called tax plan. OK, apparently he's going to be talking about infrastructure spending tomorrow, but uh, anything else will be delayed until Obamacare. So I'm not sure how that's supposed to be net, net, net positive. OK, although having said that, the uh, the, the biggest negative factor really has been uh, the potential uh, odds of for a March uh, rate hike now have risen suddenly to 50 percent. So that in and of itself should be a net, net negative. But the markets at present are in a swoon. Uh, certainly no care at all. Um, it certainly is very strange price action. That's all I can say. It's not something that I'm used to as a trader. So um, very, very strange. That's all I can say. That's probably the best way of uh, summing it. Very strange, very irrational, very illogical price action at present. Okay. In terms of European trading, then you have uh, economic data wise, you have Eurozone uh, economic confidence that came in better than expected. Business climate, industrial confidence, services sector all came in and consumer confidence all came in above board. OK, certainly helping the market in terms of the US data, uh, the durable goods orders for January came in slightly weaker. Uh, X transportation actually came in weaker. So bear that in mind, or, and the defense as well. All certainly coming in on the weaker side, so weaker number there. And pending home sales as well on the uh, the weaker side. Dallas Fed actually beat, so just bear that in mind. Other than that, really, you look, we're looking forward to now is Japanese industrial production, uh, retail sales or retail trade. And uh, we have uh, Kiwi data as well in terms of exports and imports. And it'll be interesting to see how the market reacts there. Okay, so US markets at the moment still continue to pace new highs, regardless uh, of the Asian market certainly being down overnight, paying no attention there at all. As you can see there, the S&P found the 10 minute chart, just basically breaking about above the previous high at 23.69, currently oscillating around at 23.70. Now it'll be interesting to see if we actually get any uh, any giveaway or actual uh, continuation here. I'm certainly expecting it for it to be a potential uh, fake out. That's basically my interpretation based on fundamentals at present. OK, you have Asian markets down overnight. You have a political uncertainty in Europe, also with the UK now. Scottish referendum, the certainly Scots want independence again. Certainly doesn't bode well, OK, uh, overall. OK, now in terms of the technical picture, let's just see exactly where we stand. DAX 10 minute chart at the moment. Let's just quickly go to the daily first and foremost. You can see we're basically consolidating here. Now, my expectation really for the German DAX or potentially for the German DAX is a H&S formation. So just keep watching for the right shoulder, basically consolidating and, and then potentially looking to flush lower on the back of political uncertainty, given the elections in France, Netherlands as well, uh, rise of populism. Uh, radicalism, extremism, um, racism, and you can call it whatever you want, okay, or the so-called phobia. So again, watch the right shoulder. We've certainly penetrated and hit 50% uh, fib on the right shoulder. We've left an unfilled gap behind, though, mind you, at 11.950. But for now, it certainly seems to be consolidating. It looks like we want to go ahead and play this uh, bear flag formation. So watch out for that. Uh, uh, very, very important in terms of the German DAX. OK, 10 minute chart at the moment is basically oscillating sideways. I did expect a potential bump high into 11,900 and back of uh, closing that gap. That's failed. So again, looking to move lower. In terms of the French CAC, it remains weak. Uh, OK, so after the bearish engulfing candle initially, we've just basically been consolidating and looking to potentially flush lower and retest that 4800 level. Daily chart at the moment, as you know, our double top certainly has been confirmed. Now you're looking for a lower high or a lower low, basically, and that's what we're focused on. 10 minute chart, the French CAC, again, previous support equals resistance. You're looking at weakness there in terms of the market. OK, so again, French cat, given the political uncertainty there via Macron, even though Mr. Macron certainly seems to be leading Miss uh, Le Pen in the second round. Again, anything is is certainly possible, especially with Mr. Hamon certainly losing his potential alliance and allegiance as well today. So again, certainly um, 
confusing things further. Okay, now in terms of the FTSE 100, a topping tail, given the fact that you had uh, the Scottish referendum talk now doing the round, certainly isn't good news. Okay, so inside bar, topping tail, we failed to uh, maintain the gap higher. We flushed quite powerfully back down to um, 72.40, I think, at one time. Yeah, pretty impressive until we actually pushed higher on that uh, bullish engulfing candle. So again, a lot depends on how the US markets are perceived and how the US markets close especially with Mr. Trump's speech tomorrow. Previous support equals resistance here at 7270, although we did hit a pivot high of 7285 on that potential gap higher. Insurers certainly hurting the FTSE today. Insurers certainly the weak spot, certainly hurting the FTSE again, looking to potentially retest that 7200 zone below. 10 minute chart, at the moment you are into that Fib, fib resistance zone. So you got FIB 50%, FIB 7270 as well, 7266. Those are the zones that I would certainly be looking to short the FTSE 100, uh, looking for a move lower. Okay, now in terms of the Euro stocks, last but not least, in terms of the index here, let's just quickly go to the daily chart. Daily chart, we've certainly seen double top, certainly in play. Now looking to potentially, from my understanding, looking to test that low there, 3215. Bear that in mind. In terms of the 60 minute chart, you're looking for a lower high. Okay, so it's all about a lower high, to pivot high, just basically draw it across to the next potential pivot high. Okay, to use your Fibonacci retracement, take that pivot high here, take it to the low. So we've certainly held that uh, classical technical analysis is, folks, previous support equals resistance. Okay, Fib 61% resistance topping tail, and obviously we're starting to flush lower. Okay, once we flush lower now, you're looking to potentially retest that 3280 zone on the downside. That's my interpretation and expectation. Okay, so I think that's a good summation of European indices. Uh, really, again, watch the French CAC. I think that's the weakest link. And that may well lead the uh, the in in indices lower in the region. Uh, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of Trade Signaler, signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.